Are INFP men weak? Let's define weakness. It is the state or condition of not having strength, or a trait or feature that's thought to be a disadvantage or shortcoming. Are INFP men therefore actually weak? Let's see. Empathy, caring, sensitive. All INFPs share these characteristics. The same applies to INFP men. Most of them begin life with a very naive view of the world. When they were young, they could communicate their feelings, including pleasure and sadness. Then, though, society corrects them. Instructed to man up by fathers, peers, professors, mentors, and other role models, they have occasionally influenced them to behave in ways society expects. As a result, they strive to suppress their feelings by disguising them because they are feelers. Men who identify as INFPs construct a wall so strong no one will ever tell them to man up in everyday society. In a sense, we may argue that we're forced by society to fit in and be tough. But they did not give in. They toughened up. They did so out of necessity rather than choice. However, INFP males are deeply sensitive and guarded. There are weak INFP men just as vulnerable ESTJ men, the archetypal masculine MB type. They might be weak though for very different reasons. It's commonly believed that INFP men are pretty docile, which is accurate to some degree. They would rather laugh, have confidence and enjoy life. They don't need to be the center of attention. Honestly, they would rather someone else fill that position. Male INFPs follow the flow similarly to water. 99% is pretty laid back. They dislike pointless disputes. That isn't how they operate. They sit back and observe instead of strutting. They'll generally maintain the peace until they feel a moral principle has been broken. They act in a way that makes them appear weak, but in actuality it shows tremendous compassion and understanding. Men with INFP personalities frequently view others favorably. Since they believe that everyone has the potential to be kind and intelligent, they will make an effort to comprehend their circumstances and try to get them out of them as much as possible. Even if they suffer for it or get hurt, they will endeavor to be the bigger person and forgive and assist the offender in addition to looking past what they did. However, this comes with a cost. They pay the price because they believe they're better than those they help. They allow weaker members of their family and friends to harm them because they're aware that they are more resilient and attuned to their feelings. As a result, they continually strive to improve themselves and maintain self-control to be their best versions. Clearly an INFP would only be offended if they were genuinely offended. And then all hell would break loose because of anything someone said or did. You only see the top 10% of them, much like an iceberg. And like the iceberg, they're considerably more powerful than we think. They're incredibly understanding, yes, but they have their limits. And once their tolerance is worn out, they'll burn whoever did what they did and never look back. They pick and choose their conflicts, but each one they ignore puts them one step closer to the one in which they're willing to shed blood. INFP men go crazy for what they're passionate about. Because when passionate about something, it's like a fire no one can put out, making them dangerous. Sometimes it's harmful, since no one can stop it. When and where they let go are their decisions. Most often, it's released for the benefit of humanity, like a group of abused children. There's nothing they cannot capsize when they're pushed over their breaking point. Imagine leveraging all your empathy and understanding of the thoughts and feelings of others against a criminal. I will add that since INFP men are not weak, it's best to be on good terms with them rather than witness their dangerous side. Please let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.